Okay, so we're in a roof void in a semi-detached house in Leeds. I've been called to look at some woodworm problems, actually. Um, there is no woodworm, but there is bark borer. Um, I'll just show you in these purlins here. We've got a lot of wany edges. What we mean by wany edges are the edges of the timber which haven't been cut because obviously we're near the edge of the log when it's been sawn. You can see there's a little bit of bark adhering to that. You probably won't be able to see it on the video, um, but there are quite a number of holes, some of which are in the bark, some of which are actually in the um, in the wood itself. So if the bark drops off, you're left with this wany edge full of woodworm holes, or apparently woodworm holes. They're ever so slightly bigger than a common furniture beetle hole, um, but I'll just have a closer look and show you something. Okay, so I'm afraid the macro's not that good on this uh, camera. Um, but if you look there, you'll see that the frass, which I've just got from behind the wany edge, I've just dug this out, um, is multicoloured. Some of it is darker brown, some of it is lighter brown, and that's where the larvae have been eating in and out of the um, of the bark as they feed within the cambium layer, which is just under the bark. So a common feature of bark borer is A, it'll be near a wany edge or in bark. Obviously if it's in bark it's a no-brainer, but if there's just a wany edge, look for this discoloration um, and you'll see um, the variation in colour of the frass. What I'll do is I'll put a macro image of that on the blog so you can have a closer look. So as for bark borer, it's not a problem. It's merely feeding off that small layer underneath the bark and amongst the bark. Um, there may not be bark present, as I said, it could be the wany edge, you know, the, where, the, where the bark used to be. Um, you will get uh, these clear signs of infestation, but it doesn't need treating. It's never going to do any structural damage, and it can be left alone. Sometimes, rarely, it can look quite spectacular. You know, if you go in a roof and they've all been um, wany edge timbers, it can be all over the place. But don't be put off by that, it's not a problem. Um, however, it is an indicator that there's a lot of sapwood in the roof. So if you do see bark borer, pay special attention because it's often found with furniture beetle as well so do have a good look and make sure there's no common furniture beetle accompanying it